When a scientist is deciding what to do, what to study, what kind of research to do, the critical things are, is what we're doing, is it important enough to be worth my time, and is it doable? When we started out, what we were trying to do at that moment was impossible. The way we eat food, the animal agriculture, is the number one environmental harm to our planet right now. Impossible foods, we're trying to make a solution by giving people the option to eat the meats that they love and we crave, but without the negative impact on the environment. Flavor is all chemistry, and the craveable flavors of a burger are all created in the moment by chemical reactions that take place during cooking. And it turns out that the best meats in the world don't have to come from animals and can be made much more sustainably from simple plant ingredients. Heme is a protein molecule that is found abundantly in plants. The heme molecule itself is what makes Impossible Foods beef taste meaty. Uh, Pat Brown had identified how to isolate that heme protein molecule out of soybean roots. When you put it in the burger formulation and you cook the burger, it catalyzes the flavors that you experience when you cook meat. What are the chemical mechanisms that are responsible for the explosion of uh, flavor and aroma that comes when you cook it. We have this amazing team of scientists, and they're still working every day to make our burger more and more delicious. To have the kind of impact we need to have, it involves massive scaling of a product and so the fact that our burger is being served in a Michelin star restaurant hopefully signifies a global trend away from animals as a food production technology. For the Impossible Burger to have a platform uh, like a Michelin star restaurant really tips the hat to how well uh, they've done in creating this. I think it's something that I can get behind. I, I would love to feed my guests, I would love to feed my family, and I would love to feed my kids. A lot of people see problems, but they don't see solutions. One of the unique things about being a chemical engineer is that you, you look at everything as an attemptable problem and that there's definitely a solution. It turns out that the science of food, that's incredibly underdeveloped. And it's one of the great things about uh, uh, science in general is that there's endless potential for improvement. When it's as good as the best burger on the planet, we can keep making it better.